it's I, hard to make money in the industry. Let's, let's, exactly. let's, let's definitely like bring that point. I mean, I think that's exactly. kind of a big baseline of what you're trying to communicate to. Exactly. Like, and I feel to, like Hollywood, what we knew Hollywood to be and why, why we got into the how I mean, the industry in some way, I feel like it's become a cult. It's become like, if you know, know anybody up there, you ain't getting up there. It's Mount mm. Olympus. You know what I mean? You got to be amongst the gods to go up there. You ain't going to sneak in uh, but, unless you become a god. But here's you know the thing. I, mean? I would argue that life's never not like that, which is to say that. What do you mean it's not like that? You like, can have a connection up there and they'll be but, like, come on through. I know as you. That's not really fair. As you, as you evolve you as a fair? human. It's never as, been as, you fair. Evolve, as a human. No, no, I mean it's not really accurate that assumption of the way that it's there's not this place of like it is. It's not this place of success that you don't get to by trying and failing a lot. It's actually this place where the people that are your you know overnight success takes ten years idea. It's really like okay, you, this is your fourteenth podcast, right? So like you've been just mm-hmm. doing it in your free time for the last how many years? When did you start this podcast? What year did you start this thing? Two, three years ago. Right. So like you do it for another seven years and you got 50 podcasts and all of a sudden overnight your, um, you know, followers go from 10 to 50 to a thousand, 10,000 to 2 million. And you start getting revenue from YouTube and people are like some kids sitting at home is like, man, I should start a YouTube podcast. It's like you become successful by repeatedly doing these things. So I don't think there's this place that people are at where it's like, Hey, you want to be a success? Come up here. And but I'm talking about Hollywood. I'm not I mean. talking but, but about content. In that, in that same regard, I, I look at it all as like density levels. That's what you, that's how you have to look at but every I'm talking aspect about of Hollywood. Life. What is that Hollywood? Mean? Hollywood. Hollywood is what we so, knew Hollywood to be. Here's that the big box office release that everybody fucking wants to watch this fucking movie. And then there's <clears> Endgame. <throat> <laughs> or yeah, right. but which and you, but we're 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 seeing this from the outside in, seeing that oh shit, this is fucking blowing up. This is a lucrative kind of industry, right. and that you know you can break in if you have the right scenarios. I mean, like Here's, you could let me, write. Let me, a gr- let me steal let me, in your argument. Let me let me finish my okay, argument. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I already uh, your argument. I, whatever. Um, <laughs> if you write a really good book. Like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, you got an in. You know what I mean? Holy shit! Ah, see, I you think know? Right. that's so, the misnomer. Let me. I think, I think, think so and because me, if you're me, if you if you look at all the big movies, that's what they made. Like you, so, you, you want to fund right. this fucking Tolkien, thing? That wasn't his first book. That was he wrote his whole life. Like let crazy. me steal man his argument. All right. So what you're saying is that there's a cult. There's a select group of people now, and if your shit isn't this specific thing, that's like the most elite shit. Then we're not gonna let you in. Exactly. Right. Exactly. All right. Exactly. So I. So I've just described your argument. Not completely. Now, in not a way. Com- oh, yeah, in a way. Doesn't sound right. That's what he's trying to say. Uh, he's uh, trying not completely. To, but in a, in a way, you wanna, you're trying to describe. Let that me there, see that, what you that, got. That there is a certain group of people who are like the people Get to who decide are producing. What the fuck you do? Yeah. Whether it's the publishers or whether it's the distributors or whether it's the whomever it's essentially there's a certain group of people that are saying this is good enough and now you're in our group group yeah. right yeah so that's steel manning I'm, I'm, so that's what you're you think to say. that's something in some that, way. you think that that's in something some they just hand down and you have permanently but here no no yes, no, 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 no. Without giving but, but them but value listen, but, but listen no, no well this, if you make a good movie the, the thing, only though. way they let you in is if you have good value and if you Correct. don't have any good value, Correct. you ain't gonna fucking get but, in. So, you, you have a good idea. Oh, cool! Everyone else that's on the fucking internet got but, good ideas. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, What's it's the thing? all about density levels. So, Steamlining. What the fuck is so density? So, listen, listen. You're I'm so you're already you're, you're making up you're a ar- word and <laughs> distributing it. Pause and listen. Stop Actually, producing listen. Right. and distributing. Things. So, so your idea. Is that the industry, the film industry, has like select <laughs> group of individuals yes. who are overseeing and manipulating and influencing the environment. It's a culture, the, the culture, not, the cultural not, not environment. A, a, a group let me finish, of bro. People. You literally can't let me just say one sentence. Well, yeah, you, so go ahead. So your idea is, is I already described it. Now I'm saying that uh, you're dumb. <laughs> you're just saying. Say it. You're you're seeing you interrupt so many fucking times. I like lost my train of thought. You right, interrupt so me first. All right, so 
You're saying that there's a select group of people that are overseeing. Say it up, again. Sh- stop talking. So you're saying. <laughs> See, you're saying it again. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to get your idea out without okay. you interrupting. All right. So you're saying that there's a select group of people that that is essentially it's like a club. It's a cult. It's whatever. It's it's a group of individuals who are uh, picking and choosing. They're cherry picking what gets to be a part of their group. And if it's good enough, if it's according to their liking, they'll allow it. You know, they'll they'll let them into their group, whatever. Right. That's the general gist of what I feel like you're going at. Okay, from there, I would argue that it's all about density levels, which is to say that depending upon how good you are is exactly where you're going to flow. It's exactly where you're going to get. So if your shit is good enough, they're going to pick you, which is to say that if you write a good enough script, you're going to have no problem finding a budget. You're going to have no problem that finding an investor. That was what I thought too. If, if, you, if you, so it's like, it's not just about, uh, being in the right place at the right time. It's not luck. I would argue in my professional and my uh, experiential opinion that it <laughs> is not luck. Yeah, so yeah, what yeah, it is, I agree what, with that. What Success? it is, is... Um, what are you saying is not luck? Success? The cult, the, the getting into whatever level, because he's arguing that there's a certain level of uh, accoutrement or whatever, or however you want to describe it, a certain level of, you know plateau that that only is granted to you by the elite Dude, and i'm Will saying Smith that you get there from the oscars for 10 years and i'm also agreeing with, to slap somebody like that's an action exactly so i'm agreeing with you in a way which is i say it happens through practice i say it happens through action so it's if however you're however good you are that's where you become that's where you flow so it's like if you're shit you're not going to end up where you're supposed to be but if you put in the work and if you're if you have a good enough idea or if you continue to show and demonstrate your value you're going to end up exactly where you're supposed to end up and that is irrefutable by nature because that's the natural flow of density that's the natural flow of charge you made up that word Density? What 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 uh, <laughs> what uh you the definition you gave to density is just made up. But what I'm uh, That's I'm essentially the get of into no. Anyway, you, you don't understand fundamental. Maybe physics. I don't. Anyways, no. uh, what I'm getting to with that is that you don't get to decide if you're good. The markets yes, gets to decide do. if you're good. If no. you have an idea and you think you have an idea and it's good, you don't get to decide that. You do the get market to gets to decide right. that. I you put that shit and out so and then you're like, oh my God, it's fucking good. Look well, you at know me. Why that's and you no, don't because get to you can decide listen to the while fundamental the people get to principles. Let's all talk about the same thing. <laughs> you know why that's so true? It's because <laughs> it's some wrong. people that don't believe they have a good idea, the market proves them wrong and they're blown away because their identity was so in encapsulated by the fact that they're failures that they tried and tried and tried like some like there's a lot of great success stories where people tried because they believe they were fa- uh, successes but a lot of people believe their failures so strongly they kept trying and then they made something amazing and then the market proved them to be success and they're like shocked because it was so out of line with their identity so you're right it's more about what this is this is in terms of after like for example i thought the unknowns was amazing like for what I, for what I, I thought that was gonna be the thing to break us through. Like after that, it was gonna be red carpets and to where I would just wake up every day and pick what I wanted, what project I wanted to do. And I have Tom Cruise, you know, texting me and stuff. And it's like it's just not how it works. The opposite is true: is you have to understand what the market wants and you have to create what the market needs, or else. I mean, that's the finger painting. I disagree entirely. I think that it's not about what the market wants; it's about what is good, and you can know what is good which cannot necessarily be what the market wants. The market will eat what you give them. And what you <laughs> give them is what is good. And you can make what's good or you can be trash. Well, but, wait, but let me, let me what, this what is good is fundamental by nature. Meaning like you art can, has no it's, value. It's, if it's not for the artist, art has no value despite its perceived value. So the same thing could happen in terms of like, let's say the Avengers or, you know, or all Marvel. They could keep cranking out Marvel shit because they know a certain amount of people are going to see it because they're attached to the whole mythology Fast of Marvel. Fierce. Right, for sure. They know it's success. They got built audi- built an audience. So they, you know, they don't have to do the work of building an audience and be like, here's Plato, a brand new character. And it's like, you can make Pinocchio 10 and people are going to go see the new version of it because they already have an idea what Pinocchio is. That's what genre is. That's what archetype is, all this stuff. So you have to understand what people are expecting. The point is, is art has no value. If the art's not for the artist, it has no value despite its perceived value. It means to me is you can create another Avengers with all the same cast and crew and it would be amazing. And I, you know, go see it. But, um, the value in it comes from the people that made it understanding, believing its value for what they intended it to be. So 
if you're a, an amazing screenwriter and you decide, okay, and director, and you decide, I'm going to make a movie that is commercially viable because I want to make a gajillion dollars. And I know this is exactly what the market wants according to all the metrics that I'm tapping into through Netflix, Google, whatever contacts are like, hey, the Russo brothers, the guy that made, I think, Stranger Things and or whoever made Stranger Things and Avengers Endgame, but you know, these brothers always do it. So the Russo brothers, it's like, okay, we know the the net, the market wants this exact project. Can you whip something up? I'm like, yeah, we're professional filmmakers. You know, where so they get behind their shit and they start writing the next series. That's not necessarily what they believe or want or want to create, but they understand that to be able to maintain the artist side of it, they have to.